everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I'll start out with the thankful challenge first. And I'm thankful for the chicken not killing itself when it hit the house. I'll tell you the story in a minute. And this thankful challenge was um, brought to me by Mark the Arkansas Woodcutter, and it was put out by Kimber Keto Life and Simple Life Reclaimed. Okay, the story about the chicken hitting the house and not dying. That was... I went outside because the wind, it was pretty windy today. It, well, it was windy, then it got nice and calm, and then it got windy again. Well, when I, I went out to put the little people back up because one of them had fallen down, slid down the pole, or it fell down, I can't remember. But anyways, Paige followed me out, and because Paige followed me out, the chickens are afraid of Paige. And uh, all of them went back to the hen to the enclosed part of the house, but this one little chicken, and I said, and I was pointing out at the time, I was telling her which ones were Dorothy's babies, and I told her little lady was Dorothy's baby, and the one that looks like Dorothy is Dorothy's baby, and then this one other one that was not going back to the house, but squawking like crazy, and running around like a chicken with its head cut off, but its head was still attached, and it flew over the fence, and so I says, oh man, did that one fly over the fence? And she goes, yeah. And so we went around the fence to follow, the, see where this bird went. Because I said, I don't want it under the tree. I'd like it back into the chicken area. So we followed it around, and the chicken was on the outside and running away and going crazy. And Paige was ahead of me, and all of a sudden I hear this boom. And I go, what happened? She goes, that chicken just ran into the house. It flew, and it smashed right into the side of the house. So the chicken got up, and it went underneath the bush. Well, I went to look for it under the bush, and I saw it, and then Paige was going around the opposite side of the bush, and I said, don't go that way, because it'll, it'll go deeper into the bush and be harder to get, because it's afraid. So she came back out, and um, I picked up, the, this chicken must have been dazed, because I can't pick up these chickens, at least not this one, because it was really skittish. And I picked it up and carried it, and I put it back into the chicken run and later on I brought out some chicken scratch and it was doing fine so it was okay so thank goodness it didn't hurt itself to the point where it could have it could have broke something or could have killed itself the way it smashed into the house that was the excitement of the outside chicken and yesterday I forgot to post my video we were watching the amazing race and they had a second second episode that they put on and I actually forgot that I didn't post my video so this morning when I got up on the computer to go to answer my comments I noticed that the video is still sitting there and I'm thinking hmm did I forget to post this and apparently I did so I posted it this morning so you actually that was yesterday's video you saw earlier today now this is today's you're gonna see today because I will remember to post it I only forgot twice now to do that mm -hmm. but the other one I remembered before the night ended yesterday I didn't even think about it I took Mr. Brown outside and I put a little dog house out there so that if he wanted to get out of the weather he could go into the dog house with the straw and or the grass it was grass clippings but it's like straw because it's it's all dried up it's like a hay kind of stuff and um I'll put the little video in. I had a little conversation with him in the house. I thought maybe you'd like to see him, so we'll go to that video now. Well, Mr. Brown, I thought maybe people would like to see you today, so we're visiting. Did you have a good time outside today? Yes, uh, I do. <laughs> you have a funny voice, Mr. Brown. Of course, let me check in. <laughs> Are you going to talk anymore? Look at you. You're, you're tilting your head. That's pretty good. Do you see the redness on the side of his head? Those are his ears. I don't know if you can see them or not. Mr. Brown, I'm coming closer. Hello. He's going to peck at you. He's going to peck at me? Maybe Probably. yes, maybe no. Hi. I want to see your ears. Oh, there's the little redness on the side. Do you see that? Those are his ears. Yes. Hello. Oh, my. This is a good day because you're sitting so nice. He's sitting on my 
on my mop bucket. <laughs> Every day I have to mop the floor. See, there's the mop bucket. And he likes to sit on it. Yes. Or stand on it. Or stand on Perch it, whichever. On it. And the towel there is his favorite perching spot. I put that around the... It's got other towels underneath. Yeah, what are you doing? Huh? Are you looking at me like... What's that thing? You are such a good little boy. He has learned to hop up on my hand when I want to give him some treat. He has learned that. I still have to do the the ice tray trick with him. I haven't tried it. I haven't felt like emptying my ice tray of the ice. Well, Mr. Brown, did you enjoy this visit? Huh? I don't hear you. Yes, I enjoyed it. Well, I'm glad you did. We'll see you again later, all righty? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> I didn't expect Jim to talk, but that was supposed to be Mr. Brown talking. I hope you heard it. It was, he was standing a little ways away, so I don't know if it was loud enough to hear, but it was funny. It made me, it cracked me up. As you saw, it cracked me up. <laughs> um, I worked on with the kids today. They had to do their homework. And when it was and getting close, work. and schoolwork, yeah, they had to do their schoolwork because they're still on on um, virtual remote. yeah, virtual learning, learning. remote learning. Yeah. Um, so it was getting close to lunchtime and I thought, you know, I'll make them some potatoes with the onions and the eggs. And in Italian we used to call it a froja. I don't know what it was called in Spanish because we had to make this when I was taking Spanish a long time ago. We had an actual, we made a meal. And so, but anyways, I cooked it, and as I'm cooking it, the kids go, I'm hungry. And I says, I'm cooking. And then they said, what are we having? And I said, we're, what we were having. And then they said, I'm not eating that. And I said, well, then I guess you're going to go hungry because I'm not making anything else. So they had the potatoes and the eggs. I'm looking at my paper. I brought it down because I forget things. Um, they had the potatoes and onions and eggs. And I said, you know, you can put a little ketchup on it. And they ate it and then they asked for more and then they asked for more again so it was good they they liked it so they didn't have to go hungry um i also had a couple telemarketers call today <laughs> it was funny because some days i don't feel like messing around i just i i hear the i pick up the phone and go hello and it's like oh that's a telemarketer i just hang up but today I, I was I was in the mood to to chat I guess and so the first telemarketer was telling me that I had a fifty dollar refund because I've overpaid on my electric and my gas bills and so the guy was on the phone and I was had just gone out to gather eggs and when I came in I was trying to put the eggs away and he goes why do you sound like you're so rushed and I says well I'm just putting away eggs and I don't want these eggs out and I was must have sounded frantic or something I don't know but anyways. I said, just mail me the check. You tell me that I've, I've got this refund coming. Just mail me the check. And he says, well, I need an address. And I says, oh, just mail it to Brockton. It'll get to me eventually. And so, because <laughs> they, they um, he probably knows he called Brockton. I would have think, I would, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm Brockton, Massachusetts. I don't know. Brockton, yeah. just send it to Brockton. And um, so... He says, well, how about if I call you on my cell phone? Would that be better? I said, just mail me the check. I says, and, and so he, he said, well, I will call you on my cell phone. And I said, if, just mail me the check. And he says, okay, thank you, ma'am. And he hung up. <laughs> so that was the end. But they also put me on hold while I was waiting for him, which I can't believe these telemarketers are putting people on hold. Do they think it maybe looks like it's a little more legit by doing that? Possibly? I don't know. Then I got another call, and it was about a walk-in tub and shower unit. And the lady's saying that we have guys that are in the area. Would you like them to stop by and check out your bathroom so that they can... I says, I'm not old. And she goes, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I, I will uh, forgive me. And she hung up. <laughs> and then there was another telemarketer that called. This is a day of telemarketers. 
And they said something about my Google account was going to expire. And I'm thinking, okay, I will talk to this person. I know what Google account they're going to talk about. They're going to talk about my step into the beat. That was my walking account that I had with Google. It was like, a, it really was no Google account. It was just an email. Just an email account. Yeah. And um, I'm waiting, and all of a sudden I hear the, the phone go dead. I go, man, they hung up on me, and they didn't even talk. So... I didn't get to talk to that person. Um, let's see. No, you uh, had the other one with the bathtub. I did that one already. No, you had the yeah, second. Yeah, I did that. No, no. I did two. There was two of those with there the bathtub. There was two of them, yeah. But I, I already told them about the bathtub. And I just okay. told them I'm not old. And they, they go, they apologized for calling me because they want to know if you have that kind of tub. Um, Jim cleaned the coffee maker because I was telling him that the coffee maker was not going very it's a bun coffee maker and it was like taking forever i washed my face brushed my teeth did my hair and the darn thing was not done yet and usually it's done within seconds and so he cleaned it there's a spring like looking wire spring thing that you have to clean the coffee filter with i also called i don't know um, those of you that wonder where i get my wigs <laughs> I called the Polly Young, and I ordered a new wig. Isn't she pretty? That's what I'm going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually ordered it in the same color as what I'm wearing, because I asked my kids, I says, um, what color should I get? And they liked this, the, the one with the gray with the dark roots. And so I decided I'd get that. I was going to get um, another one of the ones I'm wearing, but... I changed my mind. I was going to get a different, I was going to be in a, a reddish color, but I changed my mind. So this is, this is who I have on today. Isn't she lovely? Not as pretty as you. Not as pretty as me. But that's what this one is. This one is a blonde though. She's wearing a blonde. Um, but I'm getting the other one. The, and it's called, <coughs> excuse me, it's called Wisped Away is what it's called. So, and the one that I have on is called Casey, I think. Yes, it's I Casey. Think that's the one no, there. yes. I'm wearing Casey. I almost mm -hmm. forget who I'm wearing. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. So, bye-bye. <laughs>